Thank you for joining us. Here, let's solve this problem. And uh, we can write this one and say this is 4 raised to power 1 divided by 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power 1 times 4 raised to power x then equals to 10. So we have just applied the law of indices. That is when we have something of the form a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. So we can write it as a raised to power m minus n. So this has been written, then we break it down in this form. Also, we apply the other one, which is a multiplication. That this one we have something of the form a raised to power m then times a raised to power n. We can abbreviate it as a a raised to power m plus n. So it has been given in this form. We can also split it in this form. Now, from there, we can say let a letter represent, since we have 4 raised to power x, 4 raised to power x. So let's say let 4 raised to power x be equal to a letter y. Then we are going to have here as 4, 4 raised to power 1 is 4, that will be 4 over y plus 4 times y will now be equal to 10. We have replaced 4 raised to power x as y. Therefore, here let's clear the fraction by multiplying both sides with y. So multiplying this side with y and also this side with y. So as to clear the fraction, here y will cancel y. So we have this y cancel each other. So we are left with 4 plus y times y here, y squared. That's 4y squared. Then equals to 10y. And from here we can rearrange this to form a quadratic equation. Bringing 10y here. So we have 4y squared minus 10y. Then we have plus 4 equals to 0. So, all, also here now, we can divide through by 2. So, since 2 can go here now, so divide both sides by 2. This side also by 2. So, what we have left now will now be here 2, go here, that's 2. That's 2y squared minus 5y, then plus 2, will now be equal to 0. Then we can solve this quadratic equation by, we can factorize, and this will be 2y squared minus 4y minus y plus 2 equals 0. So minus 4y minus y will give us minus 5y. Then when we multiply it, we are going to get the product of the first number and the last number. That will be 4y squared. So therefore, we can group this one in two and we factor what is common. So what is common from the first two here is 2y. When we bring 2y out, we have 2y into bracket. We have y left here. Then minus 2 left here. So what is common here is minus 1. Bring it out. We have y left here. Then we have minus 2 left here. Then equals 0. So we have y minus 2, y minus 2. We can factor that out and say this is y minus 2 out. Then times what is left, 2y minus 1. That's 2y minus 1, which is equal to 0. So from there, each of these is equal to 0. You can say that's y minus 2. Either of these could be 0, rather. y minus 2 equal to 0 or... 2y minus 1 equals to 0. Then from here we say y equals to 2. When we take minus 2 here, or we can say 2y is equal to 1. When we take minus 1 there, then since our y, so let's solve this side, we have y equals to 1 over 2. So we have y equals to 2, and y equals to 1 over 2. This is our y is 4 raised to power x. From here, our y is 4 raised to power x. 
So when we bring that down, as 4 raised to the power x now, we can now say this is 4 raised to the power x is equal to 2. And uh, 4, raised to power, 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2, then raised to the power x, which is equal to 2. Then when we open this, here, yeah, this will be 2 raised to the power 2x equals to 2 raised to the power 1. So the base are the same thing. We can equate the power. And from there we have. From here now, we now equate the power. We have 2x equals to 1. That means x divided by 2x right, so equals to 1 over 2. So this is the value of x here. Yeah? That is half, 1 over 2. Then on the other side here, also we have that y equals to half, and our y is 4 raised to the power x. Half can be written as 2 raised to the power minus 1. Then from here, also, 4 is 2 raised to the power 2, then times x, that is 2 raised to the power 2x, equals to 2 raised to the power minus 1. Then which we can write again, since the base are equal, that will now be 2x equals to minus 1. So x divided both sides by 2, x now equals to minus 1 over 2. So we got x equals to 1 over 2, and also x equals to minus 1 over 2. And this is the end of the solution. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.